what's up everyone oj here welcome back to another video and today i'm actually really excited to be giving you guys a first look hands on on the full final game of no more heroes 3 this will be non-spoiler very specific points in the no more mondays so shout outs to suit 51 grasshopper and of course all the people that made this happen on the channel so let's go ahead and let's hop right into it guys I have a secondary file that I'm going to be loading up here. I am playing on the hardest difficulty. This is the spicy mode difficulty, okay? So, uh, so yeah, there are difficulties if you've played No More Heroes before. You know the deal. It can get pretty tough on the harder ones. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, um, I am going to go over some of the things here. So, this is, of course, your apartment. You know that you have, you can change your wardrobe, there's a bunch of different clothes that you can pick. Although, I'm not going to go in there because that could be uh, some spoilers and stuff in terms of certain shirts. So, I don't want to go there. But yeah, that's where you change your clothes. You have your cat, you know, um, that you can talk to and you can uh, play with and everything. So, I'll let you guys also experience that yourself. But we are going to head down to uh, the lab here real quick. I'm going to show you guys a few different things that you can do to Travis in terms of upgrading before we head out um and uh do some missions and some side quests and everything so this is the power-up machine and of course it looks like a arcade machine and in this area this is where you can go to uh power up travis you can get new moves you can get stronger better battery um all that stuff so you have your health your attack power uh your regular power for your uh sword your beam katana and you also have your death skill powers as well and then of course you have a bunch of special moves that you can learn too so basically what you do is you can see the overview right there and then if you go down you can actually go and power up a few different things here like let's say you want uh, a long dash move while you're dashing you can do like another one you have a blast attack which lets you do like a rapid fire uh, multiple stabs and then you have the mustang dodge too which is a certain power that you can get it's on your um, roulette wheel or your slots wheel for power-ups or you can basically get that in like a uh, power up here so pretty cool stuff different death skills different things that you can do to upgrade so uh you get this thing called wesson <laughs> you know it's like world ending supernova power or something like that and uh you can use that after you complete certain missions and after you beat uh certain battles you can use that wesson to uh power up stuff so we have eleven thousand plus so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh power up our beam katana let's power up that beam katana give us some more um, energy so we don't run out as fast all right so we're gonna go ahead and put um a good amount five thousand i think into that so there you go nice. that's powered up by once there and then we're also what do we got here yeah we can actually do this too we're gonna uh give us a little bit more attack power too so we can take down these people yeah. a bit faster so we've powered up a little bit good stuff there now another thing that we're gonna do is that we're going to take a look at the death glove because like you have this death glove that's really cool it lets you do a bunch of different powers and everything but you can also power it up even more by creating these uh chips for the death glove and uh let's see what we have on right now so right now we have um the 80 chip the uh, ginga chip or ginga chip and the gala chip so these are all pretty good but if you want you can actually customize them with different chips right and they give you different ability stuff like when you're walking out in the open world you'll be able to you know see uh so, or you'll be able to hear uh certain objects so you can pick them up because there's a bunch of collectibles around the world and stuff like that but you can also get like better power better defense all of that and you can uh get these resources by fighting battles and by doing side quests they give you resources to create these chips so it's pretty cool it's another way to power up yourself and you're definitely going to need it if you're playing on the spicy difficulty like i am you know so pretty good stuff there now there are a few other things in here uh there is like a replay like boss type of thing that's what the time machine is but i don't want to go to everything here just because there are some spoilers but i do want to say this you will never look at sushi again after playing this game i mean seriously you will never look at sushi the same way because look at what happens when you go to order some sushi now sushi it can give you stuff to where like you can get like uh health right like in battle if you want to like use like a power up for like your health if you're low on health or if you want to use like a power up for like to get more attack power the sushi does that for you and you can also get next battle buffs and stuff that you can take out but just peep this listen let your ears flow to this when you when you go to the sushi all right <laughs> the music hey maido this is Dom Mai Sushi. We work on <laughs> Gibber, Jeeber Eats to make sure your sushi is nice and quick. 
Look at it. My sushi is the freshest around, even after traveling through time. Go ahead and pick something off the takeout menu. So we're going to buy one of these. Itadakimasu. You know, they made a whole song around sushi. <laughs> There's actually multiple variations of this song, too. You can't eat in, but if you eat in, you can actually get um, a buff for your next battle. Then you have takeouts where you can use those on your own. It's actually a pretty ingenious idea here. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys listen to more of the rap music when you play the game yourself, or if you're going to check it out yourself, or watch, or whatever the case is. You have a tutorial room. You can go there, practice your moves. But we are going to go up. We're going to exit out, and enough of showing off the uh, the area here we're gonna get some battling in we're gonna do just some simple battles nothing too crazy there is quite a bit of variation in different types of enemies uh that are harder and everything but of course i'll let you guys experience that we're not doing any boss battles either if you want to check out like the first boss battle they released like a gold joe boss battle so you guys can go check that out there but we are going to just be checking out some of the um like the basic combat a little bit of the world and everything like that and uh some of the side quests so we actually don't need to take my bike but i did want to show up we do have the bike back from uh no more heroes uh one and everything okay hold up watch out all right so there is a eight wave mission here um that we're going to check out i think there's a new one too we might be able to do a new one here let me see okay so <laughs> we'll do this in just a bit oh okay did i lose it okay no i didn't lose it so uh, i guess we can i get i guess we can we can show off a, uh, Travis has a space armor suit that he can go and fight boss battles in. And so um, we'll, we'll check out that. Then we'll also do a regular one as well. So we'll do something kind of special here. Which we've seen in the trailers that he does have this, that he can use this type of suit. And they showed it off as well. But these are special uh, space mission battles. Where they're actually pretty fun. They're actually pretty fun. I, I like them quite a bit. And there's different ones, too. It varies it up. So I want to see who I'm going to fight here. And I will say that, you know, the game, in terms of, like, how it looks, it looks particularly good in these battles. All right. So we're fighting off this guy. Uh, I think this shouldn't be too bad of a, or too hard for me to take down this guy, even on the spicy difficulty. The music here is banging, too. This is dope music. Oh. Oh, I got hit. All right. So you got to fill up that meter at the bottom there, the destroy meter. You can lock on. You got to hone in. Oh, man. I'm taking too many, I'm taking damage for some stupid reason. Let's go ahead and hit, hit these guys up. And we got a super laser, too. We got a super laser as well. I tried to get the last one. Okay, there you go. I finally got the, the full destroy meter. Right, he's going to shoot that like a Kamehameha ice beam at me. Okay, no, he crushed it this time. Okay, he crushed it this time. All right, let's hone in, lock in, and go. Dodge out of the way so we don't get hit this time. All right, let's lock in a few more. Lock in, lock in, lock in. All right. Boom. All right. So he's, he's going down pretty hard here. We're going to go ahead and uh, lock in. Using our super laser here. I got hit a couple times because I accidentally pressed that. I didn't mean to press that, but that's okay. Alright. Multiple hits there. Destroyed that one beam there. I think that's where he's okay. He's got his ice beam that he's doing. Right, that's done. Broke that off. He's almost done here, guys. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to hit him with the super laser here. Woo. Oh, there's this command may have been. I told you guys he has a command may have been. I wanted to show that off too. I didn't want to just beat him so fast to where he doesn't get to show off that command may have been. All right, so there we go. We got him. He's down. I got hit a couple times trying to show off a few things from him. But that's okay. We still took out this space Go monster. Back to space. Go back to space. All right. Got a nice, stylish little kill screen that you get as well too all right so let's see let's see how we did here so you get graded after each battle it's a s you can get a better ranking than that though um i think there's like double s or whatever or even yeah double s but yeah 
Uh, not too bad. You know, took a little bit of damage. It would have been probably a little bit higher. Uh, and then, of course, you get your valuable resources that you can use to upgrade your death gloves. So, good stuff there. Now, we are also going to check out another um, regular battle here. An eight-wave battle just to give you guys a little bit of a taste of the battle system, okay? Like I said, I don't want any spoilers. There's other enemy types that we can do that are harder than what we're going to take on right here. But this is eight waves. I can, you know, talk to you guys about the combat. It's not too hard on here. But like I said, depending on what difficulty level, you know, that you play on, like it can get really tough later on or it can get, you know, or it can be super easy throughout the whole game. But this is just the, when we're in Santa Destroy, there's multiple different areas that you can go to. Santa Destroy usually has the easiest missions just overall because it's the first Here area. We go. So, all right. So now we're into the regular combats. Like I said, we got eight waves here. And, you know, it's it's classic No More Heroes. I mean, it's 60 frames per second. It moves very well here. This is when, this is like where the game probably does its best or in just the classic the classic missions i have all my abilities where i can uh where i can do so far so uh, let's try out this one right here the multiple jabs we have that hits him there and then we can also use our death glove skills too so right here one of the cool death glove skills that we have is that we have this death crusher kick so i'm gonna let him get back up yeah screw crusher death kick and you have to make sure you keep an eye on your meter in the top right because that's where your um your power goes. Got a charge and uh, beam katana. There's some heavy attacks. Right, let's get some wrestling moves in there. Oh, hold up! I was gonna try to get a wrestling move in there. We got a roulette wheel. Gives us some extra coins. So there's a little bit of luck factored in. I'm kind of powerful right now. So so yeah, I'm like killing them before I can even do like a wrestling a wrestling move. charge up All right, we're gonna try to get oh yeah we can't even get a can we even get a wrestling move on these guys I think we can though I think we can hold up I, I think I know what we need to do like this guy we're just gonna stab him right there all right might need to show off some of the other a little bit uh, tougher ones so I can get some of the uh, some of the other stuff here. Okay, so I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my death gloves, slow down time. We're gonna go right behind him. Oh, we got a suplex going. Let's suplex him again. Suplex him again. <laughs> the multiple suplexes, but you also have like the slow down time suplexes as well. All right, getting a little bit of lucky, getting some more coins here. Another one of my favorite uh, death glove moves here that we're gonna show off. You also have like a force push, which is like. Straight up Star Wars, which is awesome. Charge up that beam katana. All right, let's 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 show that off. So right there, you got the top one, the yellow. That's the... The Death Force. So you have a Death Force, and you also have like a multiple Death Bullets. Where it just hits them over and over. His, his head just went right off. All right, so I talked about this, the Mustang mode. This me goes like, basically like, KO Cam. Where he just starts going crazy. You can just attack multiple times. Mustang mode is like the best power up in the game. But we're going to finish off this stylus because I already had something banked up. But we just did like a mission where Travis, you know, has his, uh, uh, has his, um, his, his power suit or his space suit, Gundam suit that he has. Well, I have one banked up. So we're going to show you guys that to finish off this whole thing. Oh, I got crazy throw mode. Let's go. When your hands are on fire, you have crazy throw mode, and you can just keep on throwing them over and over. And also get roulette wheels to get extra benefits, too. But this is awesome. Crazy throw mode is one of my favorites, too. All right, there we go. Boom! Woo! All right, what are we on? What wave are we on? Seven out of eight. So we're almost on the last wave here, guys. All right. And put it in. Woo! We'll finish it off with a death kick. Oh, we're getting tons of bonus points and uh, coins and everything. Death melt shower. Death melt shower to that. Boom! <laughs> now that was a calvo. All right. So we're at eight here. Let's go in and finish it off in, or almost finish it off in style. I, I probably should have killed a couple people first, but the last wave. Let's go. We got them all locked in. Pretty much almost all dead. <laughs> there we go. We finished it off with that. 
<laughs> nice, nice. Still, this is what No More Heroes does best, man. When you're just inside the battles, you know, you're in these arenas, closed off, just fighting, um, doing like using all your different abilities, man. Got a double S ranking, 2,500 uh, UCs, 600 Wesson. So you get your power ups there. Get your um, also your um, materials for upgrading your death gloves. So very good stuff there. Very good. All right. So we are gonna go check out um, a little bit of a mini game. Now there's multiple mini games that you can go to on the map here. So we're gonna go check out some of those mini games real quick. All right. So let's see here. We got a lawn mowing mini game right over here. There's more. There's like mining. There's lawn mowing. There's all sorts of weird stuff that you can do in this game. There's racing. Um, so we are going to check out a lawn mowing mini game real quick. You know, um, we got these JoJo's Bizarre Adventure type of people over here. So we don't need to talk to him. This is a volunteer mission lawn mowing. So we're gonna do that real quick. All right. So mow all the grass before time runs out. The lawnmower moves forward automatically. Press R to dash. Move the lawnmower back with ZL. During moving backwards, press ZR to turn to return forward. Press the B while changing directions to pull off an awesome turn. And you're going to see why they call it an awesome turn just uh, in a little bit. Because Travis is silly. Travis is just a silly guy. All right. So let's, let's, let's go here. Let's see if we can get... I'm not good at these lawn mowing missions. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Oh no, I hit the wall. No, see, that's why I told you guys I'm not good. Alright. Alright. There we go. Let's, let's move it. Alright, here, here's the awesome turn. Oh, oh no, Travis, you hit the wall again. Alright, alright, alright. That's okay. We can still get a good time here. We can still get a good time. Here's the awesome turn. There you go. Look at Travis. He's like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> Only Travis would mow along like that. Only Travis would. I mean, serious. Like, who's ever. But who's ever mowed lawn, a lawn like this? I know, I, I know, I don't mow my lawn like this. All right, we're gonna just go through. We're gonna go through. You don't want to. Okay, hold up. Your your, your uh, lawn mower can burn out, so we don't want it to burn out. It's like, see that meter at the bottom there? If you're if you're not careful, you will lose. You know, you will, it, it will get overheated. Like if you use the boost too much. All right. Okay. Yeah, so like I was stating before, there's multiple different areas to go to. We're not going to go to um, any area outside of Sand and Destroy. Even though I can, I can go to some different areas. But once again, I'm trying to keep it, uh, you know, as a spoiler. You know, no spoilers. I know a lot of No More Heroes fans, you guys love, like, the stuff and just kind of experiencing things yourselves. You know, because this has been 10 years in the making for a bigger No More Heroes game, you know? So, uh, so I'll let you guys experience that. For those that are uh, wanting to experience it and of course i'll stream uh once we can i will stream the i will stream the actual game for you guys and you can see more for those who actually want to see more of the game when it's available for me to do that uh but in the meantime you get this preview oh snap here we go all right so we're almost done this might be my best time could have probably could have done better but it is what it is there so you see that this cheesy ending screen, you see that? He always does that. <laughs> he always does something cheesy at the end. So yeah, bronze rank, not very good. The best rank is gold rank. I think I've already gold ranked this one though. But yeah, gold rank would be a better one. So I definitely need to do better on the time and all that. But I, I ran into the wall, I think twice I hit the wall. So yeah, I mean, if I would have, if I didn't hit the wall twice, we would have definitely gotten at least at the minimum a silver rank. But we still got two, $2,500. And uh, 200 Wesson plus two nickel for our uh, for our materials. So good stuff there. Good stuff there. So that is just a little bit of... Oh, we got a new level unlocked too. So yeah, there's multiple levels that you can do and stuff like that. So that is just a little bit of the taste of uh, No More Heroes. There's other things that you can do too. There's You can get new t-shirts. Uh, you can um, basically do other side quests. You can drive around, do races. I mean, there, there's a lot of different stuff. And of course, the classic toilets do return as well so so yeah so it's good stuff there um and of course you have a, a world to explore as well oh snap yeah, see like that and i was trying to talk and i ran right into a sale like that's what I, I wanted to see the sale so bad i ran right into it so <laughs> so all right guys so that wraps it up for this video here let me know what you guys think no more heroes once again it's coming out this week um i think the, on friday yeah coming out this friday so yeah and we will have more 
uh, gameplay, live streams, and stuff whenever we can on this game. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, drop a comment, of course, down below and everything. And uh, we will see you guys for the next video. Peace.